try to keep your mind in an even keel right here at the breath. This is a habit or a quality we have to develop, because the mind goes up and down quite a lot, usually up and down with the affairs of the world. And the affairs of the world change very radically. Last week, remember, it was a, we had a heat wave. This week we've got a cold wave. Who knows what next week is going to bring? And that's just the weather. Lots of other things go up and down as well. Our mind is getting jiggled around all the time. Unless we pull out a little bit and say, well, let the world do its ups and downs, but we don't have to go up and down with it. Like when you stay with the breath. Think of the waves coming in from the ocean. You've got a post right there at the, the edge of the sea. You've got it planted deep down in the sand so that as the water rises, the post just stays right where it is. When the water goes back, the post stays right where it is. Don't let it be a post that's just lying there on the sand, because if it's just lying there on the sand, the, the waves will wash it up, wash it back out. As it gets washed in and out like that, if there's a chance that it might come and break somebody's leg, break somebody's arm, or it, may, it itself may smash against the rocks. In other words, if the mind keeps going up and down with the world, it, you can hurt other people, you can hurt yourself. Especially when you have people who are dependent on you. Little tiny children, they need their parents, to, their parents to be dependable. So try to keep your mind on an even keel. Practice this skill that even though the world goes up and down, you've got some good place to stay that doesn't have to depend on the ups and downs of the world's of the world. In other words, you've got the breath right here. Even though it goes in and out, the breath can be there all the time, comfortable, at ease. And that can be your safe place. That's the place where your post is planted in the ground. When you've got a sense of well-being like this, then the ups and downs of the worlds don't concern you that much, because you're not out there looking for food in the ups and downs. If you're out scavenging among the waves, who knows what kind of big wave is going to come in and wash you away. But if you've got a sense of well-being that comes from inside, a sense of stability that comes from inside, You don't need the ups and downs of the world. You don't need what the world has to offer. And that way its ups and downs don't affect you that much. And that way you can be more dependable for yourself and more dependable for the people who have to depend on you. So try to make sure that your emotions don't go up and down with the world, up and down with the other people around you. Try to be as steady as you can. Base your steadiness on being with the breath, being here in the present moment. And that way your post is safe. It doesn't get smashed, doesn't hurt anybody else, and just stays right there with a sense of solidity. And as the Buddha said, when you have this sense of peace and stillness inside, that's what genuine happiness is. In fact, he says there really is no other happiness other than peace. Now we might think of a lot of ways that we're happy that are not peaceful at all, but you think about it for a while. The reason we're happy with those things is the mind can stay with them for a while before it gets pushed off. And so it's this quality of being able to stay. That's what the, where the true happiness of the mind lies. So try to make the mind stable with its breath, coming in, going out. That way it gets to find some of the peace that leads to genuine happiness.